Hello guys, and this time, this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a faster way to to load up your movie making settings because yeah, it just saves you a bit time and it's less annoying. And since I'm so lazy, very useful to me. Um, I while making this batch file, I didn't create it for myself. I actually found the, the script program on advanced effects forums and edited it in my way to make it better because I didn't like the way they add there, it was not that complete in my opinion, so thanks to them and yeah, just go check them out. So first off, uh, you need to download my batch file and go to your counter strike global offensive folder and extract it there uh, so since I use two folders of CSGO one to edit one to gaming I made two scripts because some people instead of changing the entire CSGO folders they just change the CSG folder so they switch from names between CFG to gaming and CFG underscore movie to movie making settings or whatever I personally I use the entire CSGO folder so CSGO to gaming and CSGO movie making to movie making because I like to have my demos organized my gaming demos and are not to edit my demos that are to edit and other file stuff that I just want them to be edit in the edit settings so yeah so first thing you want to do is go to your script to your path file and right click it and click edit so once you're in there you you should care only about the first three lines the set lines uh, on your CSGO folder you need to find where is your CSGO.exe located so you need to go to your local disk program files team maps common global offensive and you find your CSGO.exe then you copy the path and paste it in there after the equal on the code line next thing is your Half-Life Advanced Effects folder, so you need to find it where it's located. Once you find your Half-Life.exe, you copy to the same thing, copy the path file and paste it there. Then the CSGO CMD line. This is basically your launch options that you use to load in the Half-Life Advanced Effects. So here, command line. You copy those or you can make new ones it's up to you and yeah you're good to go now I'm going to just try to explain you a bit of what this does so it's going to check if CSGO is already running if it's that the case the program just exits and nothing happens if on the other hand the CSGO is not running this will switch to the game mode that will check if there is a folder called CSGO underscore movie making. Remember that I'm using the CSGO movie making script one. And if we are in gaming mode, there should be a CSGO underscore movie making folder and another CSGO. So, what this will do if there is a CSGO movie making, this will rename the CSGO folder to CSGO gaming. CSGO movie making to CSGO so this will load up our movie making settings just by switching folders if for some reason there's not the CSGO movie making folder this will change the CSGO folder to CSGO movie making and the CSGO gaming to CSGO so moving on after this is checked, it will going to check if Steam is open. If for some reason Steam is not open, the program just exits and 
you can do anything if Steam is not open. So you just need to open Steam and start the program again. If Steam is already running, this will load up Half-Life Advanced Effect with your CSGO, with your launch options. And you're good to go to start editing. So the program will be just checking if the game is running and if the game is running this will keep on a loop if you end up the game if you quit the game this will go to the game mode again and on this time there is no CSGO movie making because we named before we start the game remember so it will go to the second part then it will wait 3 seconds to prevent bugs and we will change the CSGO, CSGO movie making and CSGO, CSGO gaming to CSGO again. Uh, after this, it will close Half-Life Advanced Effects and yeah, that's it. Uh, let me show you an example. So, so as you see, Half-Life Advanced Effects is open. Uh, a new folder from Cisco is open. I will explain you this later. The useful of this, and as you can see, let me just refresh this. Yeah, it's good. There's our movie making mode. Uh, our launch options were loaded. As you can see, with the dash is secure, and our movie making settings are all good to go. So. You're ready to edit, so as the mere comments, it worked too, so you're all good to go. Uh, on this is your window from the program. I don't advise you to click on this or close it because it may bug, so just don't click it. And let's check what happens when we close the program. We'll wait 3 seconds, then rename the folders again. As you can see, an Outlife Advanced Effects is also closed. And you're back to gaming mode again. It's just so easy and so fast. And if you want to be even faster, you just go to your script file, create a shortcut, you can send it to your desktop. And you can rename it, rename it to something more appealing, something like, I don't know, CSGO movie making whatever it's up to you and to make it look even more professional I found the logo on the internet and made it into an icon so you just need to right click it properties change icon click browse and select the icon that I pro will provide you in the description and here you go it looks so damn cool and you just need to click it and there it is, the CSGO folder that opens, it's just for this, instead of going to your program files, Steam, Steam, Steam apps, common, code cycle, professor, CSGO, you just, this just opens, if you don't want it, you just click close, it's just so simple, so fast, and yeah, it's my fast way, and my way for lazy people to set up your movie making settings. Anyway, I hope you like this tutorial, keep up with following me, I have more tutorials planned, I just don't have much time to make them, but yeah, bye bye.